and welcome to the English language classroom. Learners, this is the second part of class 6 first lesson, who did Patrick's homework. We continue to understand the text. We also discuss, learn some of the new things in this part 2 of the first lesson. To state the objectives at the end of this part 2 of this lesson, we will be able to read and comprehend the story who did Patrick's homework. We also will learn to use the words and phrases in context and for purposes. Some of the word, new words we have learnt in this lesson. Also we learn and use rhyming words in context. Rhyming words in prose is really uh, slightly different. This is a story, you know. So, me, uh, I am Meghanathan and with me is Ms. Kriti Gautam. We will be discussing with you, you will also be participating then. Okay. We have listened to the story in the first part and we have read it, we have uh, summarized the story and we rearranged the assembled sentences of the summary into coherent whole, then we understood the characteristics, the traits of uh, Patrick as well as Yale. This is what we have done in the last lesson. Now, let us learn, uh, let us notice some of the new words which appear. Kriti. Yes. Okay. Now, we have discussed already some app, we do not learn words in isolation. So, let us notice some of the words which occurred, which occur in this lesson. So, some of the sentences, let us read them again and it is true, the first sentence and it is true, sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. So, the word is? Ignoramus. Ignoramus. So, this is a new word. The book has given its meaning, we will come back to that. Kriti, what is ignoramus? Ignoramus with the, with respective to the story comes out to be a ignorant person who Patrick was. Patrick was initially. Initially. Okay. okay. The little man, look at the second sentence, the little man's face wrinkled like a dish, dish cloth thrown in the hamper. Look at uh, the word discloth. So, uh, we do not, uh, it is not a common usage, but uh, it is very clear from the uh, usage. Okay. Now, look at the, uh, what, what is the discloth? Is the cloth which we used to clean, clean the, the dishes, dishes in the kitchen. Uh, uh, utensils. Okay. He grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. So, there are two words here. He grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Look at the usage, pursed his, his lips. Sometimes we do like this, you know. That is mm -hmm. what. So, he was, he was what? He was uh, grimaced and scowled. He was not willing to do. Yeah. Kind so, of expressions. Expressions and not so good expressions. Yeah. Okay. Patrick got his A's. His classmates were amazed. This is a common word, amazed. amazed. Okay. Now, there is, there is a way to learn the words permanently. Uh, so, let us see, let us use them in sentences for purposes. Look at it. I am going to ask you Kriti, that means I am going to ask the learners out there watching this, participating in this. Use these words in sentences. The, these sentences are with blanks. The word, the words you have heard now, you have come across are also there along with some other words. You have to pick up and put it in right tense, means present tense or past tense, whatever time. I am going to read out. You will be answering it. I feel my brother is ignoramus or rude most of the time. He does not know many things. This would be, I feel my brother is ignoramus most of the time. He does not know many things. Fine. So, he does he know? So, he is ignorant. Ignorant. Okay, fine. I always wash, uh, wash dish cloth or dish after cleaning the utensils. This would be dish cloth hmm. because after cleaning the utensils, it is necessary to always wash the dish cloth. Okay, read the sentence, full sentence. I always wash dish cloth hmm. after cleaning the utensils. Okay. Now, third one, Ravi grimace or jubilant and squall or celebrate when he was wrongly punished. This would be Ravi 
grimaced and scolded when he was wrongly punished. Okay. So, grimacing, grimaced or grimace or scold or a kind of um, disgusting expressions. Okay, fine. Okay. Again, see it is not that simply words are learned by doing once. Look at the um, some more sentences I am reading out. Most of the time we do not know our, our ignoramus or nice behavior. We realize it later. This would be most of the time we do not know our ignoramus behavior. We realize it later. Okay, fine means ignoramus, our ignorance. Ignorant we we say we say something to people. Sometimes uh, quarrel with people without knowing. So then later, oh, I was wrong. Okay. This cloth or this is an important thing in the kitchen. This would be dish cloth is an important th thing in the kitchen. Not the dish. No, dishes are as well mm, important. Mm, okay, it's and okay as as per the story. So uh, we can use both, but both. this cloth we want to use it here. Okay, when the dog saw the monkey, it dashed and dash. I mean, it gri grimace or jubilant uh, and squall or feel happy. When the dog saw the monkey, it grimaced and scold. Okay, fine. Generally, when dogs see the monkeys or vice versa, when monkeys see the dogs. They do that. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, now uh, let's also recall. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, recapitulate for the benefit of the learners. We have learnt grimace, disclose, jubilant, scold, ignoramus. Many such words. There are many words which are in the textbook. These are all in addition to those. So I believe and hope we believe and hope that our learners, class six learners, there have learnt quite a lot of uh, good words. number of uh, words and phrases in this lesson. These are also some of them. Okay, now, learners there, we are all aware that poems, poets use rhyming words. Yes. But in this story, it is very, very strange and very uh, interesting. The, the, the writer, the short story author has used uh, rhyming, rhyming words, words in many, many places. Yes. So, let us also learn, he makes that event as well as this, the words very smooth and very sweet. Look at the uh, uh, the paragraph here, page number ten, uh, paragraph number seven. So uh, let me ask you, Kriti, to read out. Then we will discuss how the writer uses uh, rhyming words in prose lesson. Yeah. As a matter of fact, every day in every way, that little elf was an ag. Patrick was working harder than ever, and it was, and was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blared. Fine. Uh, Kriti, uh, also the learners there, uh, we are aware that uh, poets use uh, rhyming words in poetry, in poetry, in poems. Uh, but here, this writer uses rhyming words in prose also in the short story. And there is a connection between the words he use and the actions and the and the characteristics and the behaviors of Patrick as well as the elf. Come on, uh, uh, read, uh, let us notice the rhyming words in the text. It is page number 10, paragraph 7. You may open the textbook and see, or it appears on the screen. Kriti will uh, read out. Yeah. Sure, sir. As a matter of fact, every day in every way, that little elf was a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever, and was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so very, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blair. Fine. Look at the words nag, drag, very, blurry. There is a mistake there, blurry. blurry. We'll say, uh -huh. so, you, uh, so, as a matter of fact, every day in every way, that little elf was a nag, Patrick was working harder than ever and it was, was it a nag? He was staying up nights had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed, puffed and blurry. S look at the words nag, drag, very blurry. So, it also shows Kriti, uh, the, the, the behavior of this boy and also the clever behavior of, drag. so there was it a drag, he was dragged into a kind of trap. And the little elf was a nag. He yeah. was behaving like a kind of no very intelligent rogue kind of thing. 
and he felt so exhausted weary and it was blurry, but he had to go to school it was it was it was blurry so this is how the uh, poet the, the writer uses the rhyming words the rhyming. so the movements the 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 strange behavior of behaviors of this now look at it uh, generally the uh, what what is a rhyming word rhyming words are words in which the ending part basically rhymes with one other another okay each other okay each other yes fine um so here are some rhyming words for you uh, i'm going to read out you will have to give me the another rhyming word equivalent to that and the first word is uh, given with some rhyming word one rhyming word nice rice so thing wing wing fine drawing crying crying okay make wake wake car tar tar never ever ever where 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 take fake fake uh, learners you may write not simply one word you may write many many, many words on that yes. so the last part of the word sounds the same so they, they are the rhyming words but very interestingly our writer uh, is using in prose the rhyming words, the rhyming words. now now mm, i'm going to take you to uh, kriti as well as everyone here the learners to listen to something but in a different manner okay and i will not be showing you the slide till you listen to and have written and have written okay, okay. so uh, let's not show this uh, i'm not going to show it okay fine all right now the condition is this i have a set of four or five sentences i will read out to you completely then you listen to the uh, all the sentences completely then start writing from the beginning okay don't start right when i start re uh, reading the second sentence the first sentence you don't write okay, okay? So if you want I can read out twice. Okay. This is uh, also uh, let uh, letting us learn making us learn how to listen to when someone speaks or someone gives instructions. Most of the time what we do is you know uh, so when people start speaking we start writing then we miss out something. Yeah. So that would not happen. Okay let's listen now. Keep your pen and uh, uh, pen ready okay. Uh, but Uh, if you want, you, you may close your eyes so that your concentration is serious, but not necessarily. It's only okay. I'm going to read the paragraph twice, four sentences. Patrick got his A's. His classmates were amazed. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, they wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now a model kid. okay i read out again patrick got his a's his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick he was now a model kid come on right okay i think you have done it yes uh, uh, i'll tell you if if it is uh, if it is done in a classroom we can put four five children together in groups four children or three children or even pairs two children two learners so they can listen and together make one text mm. and not necessarily exactly the same text same thing i i uh, dictated and nearer to that mm. come on let's see what kriti kriti has done okay fine So I have written Patrick got his A's his friends were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to Patrick he was now a model kid very good well done well done except that his classmates were amazed okay. you wrote friend so this is fine so now uh, uh, you, you, let, let's show the, the the text on the screen uh so that uh, learners can see that patrick got his a's you may now check it out his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick 
he was now a model kid. Let us look at uh, how uh, children uh, you have listened to and came out. So, I am going to ask you some of the questions Kriti. Did you listen to each letter or word when you listened to? I was concentrating on the words more. Oh, no, not the letters. Okay. Each letter. When we listen to, when we listen to someone, we do not listen to even the words, we listen to the sentences. Yeah. That means, we listen to the meanings. meanings. Okay. Yes. Also, you, did you listen to the whole sentence? Yes, I yes. did. Yes. Yeah. Did you listen to the meaning or just the words? I was listening to the meaning as well. What was it? Uh, Patrick got his all, uh, all his A's. That is one. Yes. Then, so listen to the meaning. So, listen to the complete sentence when somebody speaks, then start writing. Yes. Suppose you are noting down in a, in a conference or your teacher's lecture, ma many things. Okay. Uh, before I close, uh, le let me read out uh, one such uh, paragraph, four sentences to learn learners. So, you try on your own, then we close this lesson. Okay. Uh, here are five sentences. You may close your eyes. I am going to read out twice. Then we will be, uh, I am not going to asking you uh, to read out again, Kriti. So, just listen to it. Dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with these way of life. He was sick and tired of wandering about by himself looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he. Only two sentences, but long. Okay, let me read out again. Dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with his way of life. He was sick and tired of wandering about by himself, looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he, not stronger than him, stronger than he. Okay, come on uh, learners, try this at home and check it with your uh, friends. Uh, this, this, this text is also there in your second lesson, you can check it uh, there. Now, uh, thank you very much for participating. This is the um, second part of the first lesson. We will come with the third part uh, in, the, in the next lesson. So, friends, uh, Kiriti. So, this is the second part. We will go to this third part in the next lesson. Thank you very much, Kiriti, and those learners who are watching that. Thank you very much.